Okay, so now we're actually ready to do some editing. We're actually ready to make our skybox. We've got the reference here. Now we just have to add stuff. Bear in mind that the player is going to be within these walls, and then anything outside the walls is what's going to be uh, of interest, of, of part of the 3D skybox. You can put stuff in here, um, but they're not going to show up correctly. They might show up really weird because it's going to assume uh, it, you're only going to see things where the 2D text, the 2D skybox texture is in your map here, which is on top of these walls in our case. Okay, so what do I want to do? Uh, let's see. Let's make some displacements. I like displacements. Do uh, here we go. All right, so let's make a little displacement here and a little one here and one here. All right, yeah. So if you remember how to make displacements, I'm going to grab the tops of these, displacement, create, power of three, that should be fine. Um, I don't know, uh, I'm just kind of thinking off the top of my head now. Ground. Uh, what do I want, what do I want, what do I want? Um, let's make this. Put that there. Get a little, um, variation, maybe. Um, let's see, paint geometry. Increase this a little bit. Yeah, I don't have much to say right now because we're just going to create. Oops, come here. We're just going to create something that looks nice. There we go. Um, let's make some hills. Why not? It was big hills. Okay, so all of this is what the player is going to see, but in massive scale, so keep that in mind. Let's see, okay, that's all I'm going to do. Um, obviously, your skybox should take a little bit more detail than what I'm doing. Um, ew, i got to kind of cut there. Okay, so let's fix that. How do we fix that? Um, yeah. Okay, well, we'll, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's just extend this a little bit. Destend. And I knew it would uh, come back and bite me in the ass if I did that, but what can you do? Okay. And sew all this stuff together so it looks nice and ship shape. If you remember how to do that, so. Face normal, decrease this, make it blend in a little bit better. There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so now it looks pretty seamless. Um, I'm not, well, yeah, why not? Paint some geometry, paint some alpha on there. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's grass. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. I was wondering what that texture was. Okay, some of the uh, textures um, actually blend in this. See, there it is, some, a blade of grass. So I definitely do not want that. So anti. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, so stop. Stop being grass. I guess I can't. Whatever. Okay, so... Let me just leave it. There's going to be a massive blade of grass in the distance, but hopefully nobody will notice it. Again, I'm kind of just going fast here. Um, what else can we do? Okay, so there are some, if you want to put props out into the skybox area, you have to have the props that are skybox approved, which are the tiny props. I'm going to get a, a prop static here, just for example, and hit properties, world model. Now most props are, again, the big props, if we just try to put a, like a lamp in there, 
it's going to be huge. So we don't want that. We want a prop that is helps to be labeled skybox. I'm going to type in skybox. We've got some buildings. We've got some I don't know. Let's put a far, let's put a barn out there. Why not? Hit apply. And there's a little barn. There is going to be a little barn on this on this hill over here. Oops, now it's in in the hill. Okay. So there's our barn. Um anything else you'd like to add? Uh let's put one more. Let's put like a water tower out there. Water tower. Let's see. There's one. No, that's not one. That is not one. Okay, yeah. So water tower, skybox. Let's put a uh, water tower out there. And let's put it on the side. Let's put it over here. Okay. So that's all the detail I'm going to do right now. It's pretty, it's pretty basic, but you'll be able to see what I'm talking about once we start the game. Okay, one last thing that you need to do after you've kind of built your skybox area is you need to put all of this into a hollow box with the skybox texture around it. So go find your skybox texture. It's in tools. Skybox. I'm going to... You can either build the walls... Um, you can either build the walls... Uh, yourself or what I'm going to do is kind of take a shortcut and build a a hollowed out cube by hitting enter let's hope this works make hollow and the length of the walls in this case 32 is fine so and here we are there is our skybox this is how it's going to appear in the game. Now be sure to turn off the skybox reference that we made because the player we do not want those walls to be repeated. They're already if you can understand they are already those walls are these walls the big walls. So we're going to turn those off keep the sky camera there everything else is good and now one last thing we have to do is get rid of that. Get rid of our sky camera in our map. So we left it at the 000 location, the very center of our map. Remove that. If you don't remove that, you're going to have problems. You should only have one sky camera, and it should be in your little sky box area. So once you've made sure that everything is squared away, the sky box. Uh, the uh, sky camera in the playable area of your map is removed and your skybox area does not have the outline and it's the way that you want it. And uh, by the way, don't put any player spawns out here, don't put any uh, NPC spawns, monsters, anything like that. Don't put any of that uh, stuff out here. Uh, otherwise that's, that's, that's going to cause some problems. So I'm going to save this and it'll work.